Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks so much for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website. Now, enjoy the video. You know, Jan, it's not every day you get to experience the trailing of the sheep. But here in southern Idaho, that's exactly what they do every fall. It's what shepherds have done for hundreds of years as they would bring their sheep down from the mountains for the winter. Yeah. And they've created a festival here that celebrates everything that is sheep. Culminating in the big sheep parade right down the middle of Main Street, better known as the Wall of Wool. A wall of wool indeed. I don't think there's a better description. 1,500 sheep rolling like a storm cloud through Ketchum, Idaho. We've never seen anything like it, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. This freeway of fleece is the high point of a unique festival that pays tribute to the huge contribution sheep ranching has made to this region. It's a really amazing celebration. You really feel like you're living history at the moment. Ketchum is a town of 2,700. It's about 150 miles east of Boise in the middle of amazingly spectacular scenery. It's now ski country in the shadow of famous Sun Valley. But it all began with sheep. Now sheep were among the first animals to be domesticated. In fact, it was Columbus who brought sheep to the New World. By the 1870s, sheep were starting to flourish here in Idaho. Giving these sheep their buzz cut takes a special talent. John Balderson has been doing it for more than 50 years. John is in such demand that his job takes him to four states. He's here at the festival to show how it's done. Sorry, buddy. I know it's annoying, but I promise you're going to feel so much better. How long does it usually take you to shear a sheep? These kind of sheep like this here, if you're shearing every, one every three minutes, doing 20 an hour, you make a living. The goal is to keep the wool in one big piece as the sheep is shorn. John Skeel amazes the kids of all ages who are watching intently. How many days a year do you shear sheep? About 300 days out of the year. Wow. And how many sheep will you shear at that time? 30,000. Did that's he say 30,000? Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's work. Yeah, For 20 years straight, I shore over 30,000 sheep a year. Wow. During the festival, the hills of Haley are alive with the sound of music. And it honors the diverse group of immigrants who built Idaho's sheep industry. Like the Scots, who were the first to bring sheep ranching here. More sheep herders came from Peru. And then from continental Europe came the Poles and the Basque. A herder would spend months by himself, alone in the mountains, surrounded by sheep and a few dogs. And after returning from that isolation, they had their music and dancing. And so they would have dances and play cards, and all the fun stuff happened yeah, in those. I would think they'd have yeah. some pent up yeah. fun stuff they're wanting <laughs> to do after being up they there for all summer. The Ankhati dancers are direct descendants of the original Basque settlers, and they bring traditional dances from their homeland. People come from all over the country to see the musicians, the horses, the covered wagons, and of course, the sheep. We not only get to educate, but we celebrate. And that's what with all of our performers and our vendors and everybody, we're celebrating all things sheep, lamb, wool, whether you want to wear it or eat it or whatever you want to do. Did she say eat? <laughs> yes, she did. And as part of the celebration, festival goers joined the Love of Lamb tasting tour. What did you think when they wanted to start this March the Sheep through town? What, what was your thoughts? Honestly, in my head, I was thinking, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Who is going to want to come to town to see a bunch of sheep walk down Main Street? I couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> it's one of the coolest events of the whole year. Meanwhile, back on Main Street, the sheep are approaching and we're getting excited. I can see sheep. <laughs> so it's finally the moment everybody's been waiting for. Yeah. The stars of the parade, hundreds and hundreds of sheep. There they are. Oh my gosh. And there, in the middle of all this, is Father Kim ready to bless the sheep like he has 11 times before. Father, how are you blessing the sheep? I do what's called the Aaronic blessing, the blessing of Aaron. It says the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you and give you peace. Father Ken is fearless. Now the sheep don't know they're being blessed. They just want to get through town. The sheep have taken over. This is now their town. And do you notice the proverbial black sheep? Well. Herders usually have one of them for every 100 white sheep. 
makes it easy to quickly estimate the size of the flock. I thought Jam was going to run out and kiss those sheep. Not all of them. Just a few hundred. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.